Hi there. Now for this last part then, we were asked to suggest which house then is most likely to be closer to the train station and justify your answer. Well, it turns out that it is H which is likely to be closest to the station. Now I'll take you through this and be, I'll justify why. Okay, I'll take you through it fairly slowly, but you might want to fast forward just to see the overall solution quickly. Now, the first thing I'd want to do, though, is work out what the price per square meter was. And I'll just do that by putting an extra column on the end here. So if we have price per square meter, all we need to do is divide the price then by the area. So for the first one here, 156,400 divided by 85, that gives us 1,840. 1,840 pounds then per square meter. Do the same again for J and you'll find you get 1,820. Now to put this in some perspective, what I've thought of doing then was drawing up some axes of that price per square meter which was the variable p plotted against the distance from the station d kilometers now in the earlier part of this question we were asked to state the product moment correlation coefficient between p and d and it turned out to be minus 0.749 so we could expect something like this for the relationship between our points. Now, we've got a couple of points here now, okay, for H and J. So assuming these points are on the line, then 1,840 is a greater value than 1,820 for P. So if I put H up here, we'll just put that that's the 1840 there and we'll have j down here below okay with 1820 in and can you see that for h the value of d would be smaller than the value of j so it is closer to the station so the reason for this that h is likely to be closest to the station is because it has got a smallest value for d smallest d okay so i hope that gives you some idea then how to do that question if it caused any problem okay